Hello, everyone. It's Raymond here. Welcome to Medical Taiwan 2020. I'm taking you to visit the pioneer of far infrared FIR technology right now, therapy. And uh, we have Kevin Lin, overseas sales specialist, with us right now. Hello, Kevin. Hello, everyone. My name is Kevin. I'm the overseas sales specialist of therapy. And today, I would like to introduce our product, therapy. Our therapy is a phototherapy which using a special, a specific wavelengths of far infrared to do the non-thermal treatment. So um, this treatment normally used for uh, take care of dialysis patients uh, to take care of their vascular axis and it is also very good for the food care. So first, um, for dialysis patient, as you can see picture here, um, it's a picture of dialysis treatment um, while they are using therapy. And um, actually, those dialysis patients facing some very serious uh, vascular access problem every day. And those problems actually are very annoying. Um, for example, um, they would face some problem like uh, fistula pain or needling pain or uh, hematoma, uh, still syndrome and um, inadequate blood flow. And all the, these problems, therapy can help them to solve it. Um, for example, the uh, inadequate blood flow um, by continuously using therapy, uh, it can increase the blood flow. And also um, some patient would have to receive PTA very frequently um, every three months or even every two months. And actually those uh, PTA is very hurt for patient. But by using therapy continuously can help them to reduce the time of receiving PTA. Also, uh, by, uh, for the newly created vascular access, uh, using therapy can short-term maturation period. So, which means they can uh, use their new vascular access to do the dialysis treatment faster than normal. And on the other hand, um, about the foot care. Um, the foot care, uh, there are some patients with PAOD or uh, diabetic food, or they ha might have some problem of uh, cr a chronic author. For though all these patients, uh, therapy can help them by uh, the uh, mechanism of increasing the angiogenesis or increasing the uh, microcirculation to help them. And for example, uh, some patient might feel coldness or numbness by their foot. So um, while receiving the uh, therapy, they can solve these problems. And also for some patient who having ischemia ulcer, um, all these, uh, normally those wounds will be very difficult to be healed, but with therapy, it could be healed and maybe faster than you think. Now, uh, in Taiwan, there are over 90% uh, of dialysis center is using therapy. Uh, as the picture shows, uh, they are using therapy every day and as a regular treatment in Taiwan right now. And not only in Taiwan, but also in the whole world, uh, as the map shows, that uh, over 20 countries and over 2,000 hospitals or clinics is using therapy right now to take care of their patients. And also, uh, we've got more than 50 papers, published papers. Uh, those research are all published by uh, international famous journals. And we've got the uh, recommendation by the EDTA guideline and the Kedoki guideline from the US, which means therapy right now is widely being accepted by the whole world. So if you have interested to therapy and you want to know any details, you can check our website or you can contact us. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much to Kevin.
90% of market share in Taiwan and more than 2,000 hospitals from 20 countries are using therapy. That was very impressive. Thank you once again, Kevin, for your sharing. Thank you. Thank you.